Hello guys, how's it going? So I haven't talked to you guys in a little while. Is it a little while? I don't remember. But I hope you guys have been doing well. For those who don't know me, I am Yoko. I'm a Japanese living in Japan and I'm a huge Trump supporter as you can tell. So in the meantime, I didn't talk to you. I got sick and then I actually got sick on the very day that the final debate was held and I fell asleep while watching it. So I still have to finish and I can't comment. So today, now that I think I'm better, I still have a little bit of fever, but don't tell anybody because I went outside. I think I went to like six bookstores or so, and my intention was to show you guys how much impact the American um, presidential campaign has in Japan. By the way, before I get started on the content, I have to let you know that Japan is bigger than you think. And there are 47 prefectures in Japan and where I live is called Fukuoka Prefecture and when you write that, like with abbreviation, you spell it as F-U-K. <laughs> Sorry, I'm childish. I just So, Yoko walks around in bookstores often and she realized one day that there are so many books Regarding Mr. Trump, like the book, there are so many books that have the cover of Mr. Trump's face or the books that have the titles of Mr. Trump, yet we don't see as many books regarding Hillary Clinton. I just thought that it was so interesting. I realized how much impact that Mr. Trump has in this country. Japan. It's kind of lame though in a way because this should have happened last year and it's like Japan is finally seeing it like right now and we are now publishing so many books and um, I'm, I'm like you know what I knew that this was gonna happen but anyways what I'm trying to say is that now Japanese people are very very interested in why or how Mr. Trump made it as a candidate of the Republican Party and uh, we are very curious of you know how the world will be and some of the books are actually kind of pessimistic or it's warning us Japan Japanese people to be ready for all kinds of scenarios and stuff but before I bore you guys with this ranting I'm gonna just take you guys to the journey so you ready you ready let's go Okay, so the first store is this politics and economy section here and you can see Mr. Trump's face and then over here we have the book titled and then America disappears but it's actually not a bad book it's uh, just analysis you know and look at this lock her up lock her up and it says arrest Hillary and put her in prison that's what the title says <laughs> ridiculous face too yeah, there are three of them. And then over here, uh, this is a copy, I mean, the translation version of Michael D'Antonio, it says. Like, passionate or enthusiastic king, Mr. Trump kind of thing. And over here, we have a book on something about America. And this is Hillary Clinton's words. Oh, you can see the English title there but it's written by Liza Rogak I have no idea but uh, and then the Donald Trump that we want to know right now and this is a Japanese version of crippled America by Mr. Trump and uh, the title says that uh, Trump will destroy the Japan US relationship <laughs> but it's not a bad book and you can see the English there but yeah just about President Trump and this is just a random history of America but uh, I actually know the author okay now let's go to the second store it says American uh, present file and you can see some Mr. Trump and Hillary Clinton but this is just a compilation of all the presidents in the United States I thought it's interesting and the back is of course Mr. Trump not Hillary and this is the political section and you can see all the books on Mr. Trump and not Hillary Clinton for some reason but this actually says like oh all the world is or I mean alliances in the world are scared of uh, Mr. Trump or something like that so it's probably a liberal book but on the other hand this is talking about you know you have to ask billionaires like how to make money and it's a bestseller of Mr. Trump so it's just a you know a translated version and on, and 
on a side note, this is about Snowden, another Snowden book. This was actually translated in 24 countries, and you can see Obama, like the day Obama visited Hiroshima. <laughs> okay, now we are in the third store, and this is a society section, and you can see Hillary Clinton's book again. And we don't see the same um, you know, books again. And this is the economy section. And you can see the same book again of Mr. Trump. We saw that book earlier, if you remember. <laughs> and we're on the overseas issues section in Mr. Trump's book. I don't know the black guy, but this black guy, I know uh, President Obama, President Obama. And you can see Hillary Clinton finally, like uh, regular stuff. Oh, but we saw that one earlier. And Mr. Trump's amazing words, like 108 words. And this is a liberal magazine, which I actually have. And uh, we can see Mr. Trump's words on politi uh, politics and the, re uh, the secret that Mr. Trump's rise and Mr. Trump's truth. And you see, what do you guys think of the impression of this section? I think it's kind of fair, but a little more Mr. Trump and Putin. <laughs> yep. And it says American Issues. And you can see three books of Hillary Clinton. I believe she wrote it. I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, just, yeah. I think two of them Hillary Clinton wrote and on the same book. And on the left... This is a, uh, it says Clinton Cash, and that's good, but it's actually um, translated by, or written by, a, you know, the religious guy here, and he's kind of a problem, so I, I have mixed feelings. And you can see all the books on Mr. Trump. There are so many books of him. I mean, it's the same books in different places, but still I think it's amazing. We saw that earlier, you go. Hey, <laughs> and then uh, uh, you can see, oh, Bernie Sanders, did he write it? Yeah, he wrote it, and there's only one of him, and then, oh, the same book, oh, Crippled America, and Trump Revolution, Revolution, yeah, and, oh, it's the same religious guy that I don't like. He's a problem. He's, uh, he's not a true conservative because he is op opposing to, uh, you know, our emperor. Oh, this is a new one. Trump's uh, harsh words. I can't translate, translate it well. Like a kind of violent impression, you know. But And this is like, oh, we're not scared of Trump. But I don't think it's a bad book because he's a conservative. And Trump's mind, or way of thinking, it's actually written by Mr. Trump. Oh, another one, same as before. And this is a new one, I think. Uh, why America chose Mr. Trump, and uh, again, like Mr. Trump's words, and um, the mean book on Mr. Trump, and let's see. Sorry, I can't translate everything well, but now we're in the same store, but um, the um, actual section of like a native language section, and you can just see, and I don't have to comment, but it's here as well in Japan. And the finance section of the same store, uh, the part of the store, um, yeah, you can see the book of Mr. Trump, and my friend actually sent me that before, so thank you again. And this is nonfiction section, and I was surprised that wait for it, wait for it, uh, Nelson Mandela and George W. Bush, but wait for it, wait for it. Well, you can see the couple, but gems from my father. It's here in Japan. I was so surprised. I mean, you can always order online, but still, like. I didn't think that it would be available in my prefecture. I was kind of surprised. And then Hillary Clinton's book, and it's so thick. I was surprised. Another thick book. Who reads this type of stuff? Of course, everybody does. If you are passionate, I guess. But I don't think I could. And over here, just for your reference, in case you're curious, 
Margaret Thatcher and Medicare and Rice and Thatcher, blah blah blah. Somehow travel, so I quit here. <laughs> and、uh, magazines, we have that here as well, but it's very expensive here in Japan, obviously. Yeah. But anyways, we're on the fourth store, I believe. This is a media section, and you can see all the books on Mr. Trump. Oh, you can see the one Hillary book. But yeah, it's amazing, and the way the the layout here shows that it's important. You know, if it's just laid out in the bookshelf, it doesn't mean much, but. Now we are on the peace war section, and you can see the main book again. <laughs>、um, and then you can see a lot of books. No, not here. Oh, this is the each country section,、uh, like issues. <laughs> you can see Hillary Clinton. Oh, you can see the Taiwan too. But yeah, Hillary Clinton, and here is the new books. And you can see Donald Trump books, so you can tell that people are not writing about Hillary Clinton, but everyone is writing about、uh, Mr. Trump and you know the phenomenon and stuff. So it's interesting. And over here again, oh, this is another store, and you can see the three of、uh, Hillary Clinton's book, but all these are Mr. Trump, up to Bernie Sanders, and from the from that it's. All different books, but yeah, we saw that Yoko, yeah, Trump's truth, and this is like a resume of Mr. Trump's like embarrassment or whatever.、Uh, oh, it's actually written by、um, somebody American, so yeah, no wonder.、Um, yeah, just looking stuff. Sorry, I can't uh, really. Uh, we saw that earlier.、Uh, sorry, I can't、um, comment and translate at the same time. Like, you know, it says、uh, life is an explosion, like ignite your life, sort of maybe. But it's a、uh, it's a translated stuff too. And、um, Trump's phenomenon in American conservatism, which is interesting, written by a Japanese person, and Trump's. All of his Trump,、uh, all of Trump's comments, which is interesting, and this is a society section again, Mr. Trump, and no Hillary Clinton, and this is the final store, and this is a wait society section, I couldn't see, <laughs> but yeah, they made it fair here.、Uh, this is a small section though, and this. Is, I don't know. I couldn't see the section, but there were some magazines and Donald Trump books there, and this layout is the best. Good that I came here last. You see, Trump, 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 and finally Hillary. Um, yeah, and then Obama and ISIS. And welcome back. <laughs> So、um, I hope you enjoyed the journey.、Um, yeah, there are so many books on Mr. Trump. Interesting, right? I mean, we are interested in Mr. Trump. Where's his head? Yeah, 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 yeah. The book I bought, by the way, was da -da -da, this one. And then America disappears. And <laughs> I bought this book not because I liked the title. This title is probably just, you know meant to be viral or something like it. It's probably titled to get people's attention, and it doesn't really talk about it inside. I roughly you know looked through, and it it's not like that. But yeah, in Japan we do this type of stuff often. Like it's like clickbait basically. But I、uh, I. Always、um, read the prologue and the epilogue. I guess what it's called, like the beginning and the end of the book, like before I buy to see the to get the sense of the book. And the author of this, I don't know who he is actually. Like his name kind of fa sounds familiar, but I don't know him in political field yet. And but、um, I see him、um, writing for this good magazine here in Japan, like a conservative magazine. I guess it's conservative. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. And also, he said at the end that、uh, he wants to love this country and he wants to love 
um, justice and he also said that Japan he was pointing out like in a, such a harsh way that um, Japan is such a left behind country in the international society and I'm like yes <laughs> Like, that's what I'm thinking every day and I'm frightened you know so I'm like you know what I'm gonna spend my money on this guy's book because I want to support people like him because it's very important and I am so broke so <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like before I support other people I'm like I have to support myself but anyways so I have on other books is this is a uh, I think it's crippled America like the original cover probably had the um, picture of Mr. Trump and the bird I believe this came out last year but of course the translation takes time crippled America yeah and I have another Dan <laughs> this is the author here I respect him so much I love and respect this guy his name is Michio Ezaki and he has a lot of connections in America actually and I learned so much stuff from him like my basic um, political idea is from him actually and he's such a he has so much information and um, he is not an extremist, which I, I admire. He has met Phyllis Jalafoli and all the other great people from America. And he's like being the bridge between Japan and America. And I'm like, oh, wow, like I want to be that too. <laughs> so I'm trying to learn as much as I can from him. And I have other books from him, which I haven't read all yet. Like, yeah, I have so many books to read. I keep buying books isn't it so weird that november 8th is finally coming like it's becoming real and i'm so excited and scared at the same time so you're not alone okay so i think i'm gonna go now so thank you so much for watching guys i will talk to you later bye